Hidden Object Guru here with hot new game Golden Force, which is apparently a uh, action platformer. Just found out about this recently. They were kind enough to send me a review copy, so let's get into it. Is that kind of a sea monster at the bottom right? I think that might be a sea monster. I don't know anything about what this game's plot is. Uh, based on the visual, I gotta say, probably pirates. Yeah, almost certainly pirates. That's a Kraken and a pirate ship. I got five lives or five hearts. Alright, let's do this. Oh my god, that's a friendly dragon. Okay. Tell me more about your archives. Marissa, I would have assumed you would have guessed right. Because it's alliteration. You know. Catherine the Koala. Catherine the Koala, exactly. Alright, what do we have here? Also, to my mind, it's always okay. Alright, so B is jump. I can jump. We're not playing the little skull head game this time? No. Sorry, pal. Whoa, that sucked. Oh, wait. That is not as effective as I wanted it to be. I can dash hurts enemies as well. Yes, I know how to jump. Don't worry about that. Is that Slug? Tr I think that Slug's trying to get away. Wait, yeah, wait. he got away, but then it turned out he salt water makes him explode. So it was uh, not an escape that was really helpful to him. No break fail. Yes, I know how to dash up. What would you like me to do with it? His name is General Salsa. General Salsa? Oh, I'm a big fan of your General Salsa. The, the octopus? Yeah. Don't hurt the octopus. General Salsa deserves to live. I would love it if I could let him live, but that is sadly not on option here. I'm supposed to hit those. Why? Ah, oh, because they fire back at him. See. Sorry, General Salsa. Alright, so now I found out about the double jump. And I can hop over the tentacles, so we're fine. No! General Salsa is starting his shrimp attack! Oh no, I think I got taken down during the training mission. That ain't a good look. Yeah, General Salsa the Pink Octopus is magnificent. Everyone agrees with you on this one, Marissa. We are all big uh, fans of one General Salsa. Also, this game is weirdly gory. Here we go. Sadly, I don't have a double jump, so I have to be careful. I'm ready for you, General Salsa. Ken, what does that giant fail on the screen? Well, because he's presumably... First off, Salsa can be used as a dick. Ow. You little monster. Wow. Um, I don't remember ever having this much trouble with a tutorial. No, I'm glad I'm not playing. Alright. That one's on you, lady. See, weirdly gory. I'm not complaining. Ooh, I think we all appreciate obscenely gory games. It's just weird to see. You little monster. I don't even know how that guy hit me. Yeah, something I'm not used to. Hey, Attack. Alright. Oh, that fail was... I have failed to keep my combo going. Oh, okay. Sorry, General Salsa. You've met your match in me, a weird elf lady. What the hell? Apparently I waited too long to try and escape his tentacles. It's all 
also, I mean, this is not a big thing, but it's also a little difficult to tell. Whoa! Exactly when it's safe to uh, hit his eye shots. Uh-oh. It would be great if I could get some health. Yes, there's an attack. Oh, you want me to go over there? I thought you meant there was an attack coming from me. Okay. Oh, this is bad, everybody. Okay, this is not going great. No, jump! Oh, General Salsa. What are you up to next, you crazy kitten? Oh, no! Well, we got to the second phase of the General Salsa fight, so I think this is going to happen. Yeah, I'm pro General Salsa, too. It's not impossible that I'm sabotaging myself because I don't want to kill General Salsa. And it's right there in his name. He is General Salsa. I'm a big fan of him, in case that wasn't clear. Gotcha. Hey, combo 18, 20, wow. So we're getting 10% bonus gold every time I kill a dude? Nice. Yeah, no, it was clear what you meant, don't worry. Yes, yes, General Salsa, we know. Yeah, have a good night, ghost. Whoa! Okay, he's down at 80% already. If I do the jump attack, it seems to knock him back pretty reliably. Oh, you're fleeing, are you, General Salsa? I guess it got too hot for you in the kitchen. Uh-oh. That was very cheap, General Salsa. Come on, 60% health. I think I only do 1% damage every time I hit him. Yeah, no, 1% every time I hit him. All right, here it comes, everybody. Oh, I can't shoot them back at him anymore. I mean, it makes sense. It just kind of sucks. Oh, was that all you got, General S? Oh, you're going to learn a nasty lesson about messing with, I don't know, some mercenaries. I don't really know what my character's deal is yet. Why they're fighting... Joe, no! Oh, you got real ugly there, General Salsa. Like, I'm still a fan, but whoa. Is that not a good look for you? Oh my god. This got very, I don't know. Ah! This got how you say extremely splatterhouse. Like I knew it was a, oh my god. Uh, doing great, puppet. You know, you could continue me. Like you could just assume I figured out the controls. I got him down to, like, 20% health. You can assume I understand the controls, right, and just start me on the boss fight. Oh, my God. Yes, excellent scheme, Marissa. Clever coordinating face masks. I cannot uh, say anything bad about that plan. Really making us wait for that fight. Wait, do they wait for the combo to be over before the fight starts? That's weird. Alright, General S. I think I gotta stop calling you General Salsa because I love you so much that I'm screwing up the fight. So I'm just gonna call you General S from now on. Saying so you turned off your phone? Or did you? I guess you have to watch a more active comment. Be a part of the proceedings. Yeah. Oh, so you're gonna run, are you, General S? Let's see about that. Hey! Skrit Skull? That was a hard name to uh, say, and the only reason I managed it 
was what a huge fan I am of the game Skrit. No, sorry, Skit. I keep forgetting what that name is. It's a wonderful game. It's a visual novel that's also a zombie shooter. It's very weird. No! With, like, base management stuff. It's, it's a very intriguing game. I hope they've fixed all of its many, 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 many balance issues that kept it from being uh, uh, ama an amazing title this year. See, it just looks like a dude with a giant eye, but really, it's a giant, whoa, love, like Lovecraftian skull monster pretending to be a squid. Oh, thanks, Skrit. Uh, I really enjoy Man of Medan, as I think you can tell. Did you also watch The Lost Ending? Uh, or no? I'll just die already. It would be great if these guys could drop a little bit of health. That'd be just suit me down to the ground. See, and I try to, like, combo them to death in midair, but then I run out of combos, and while we're both falling, I take a hit. I guess I should have fallen some. That one was probably on me. Yeah, you shouldn't make me wait until the combo meter runs out before we start the fight. But that's what's doing it every time. It seems like a really long wait. <laughs> Very funny, Marissa. No! That one was on me. Now, uh, dodge and, uh, responsibility that time. Yeah, every hit you do to him does one point of damage. No matter what kind of hit it is. I think if you do the charge up super attack, it does three points of damage. Yeah, I did not explain this game to be this hardcore. I cannot remember, like, no, I literally can't remember ever having this much trouble with the tutorial level of the game. Because, I mean, am I crazy, or is there a lot going on with this boss? There seems to be a lot going on. Also, you're fighting a boss in the tutorial of a game? Well, that happens in some games, but they're usually, you know, cartoonishly easy bosses designed to tell you the, uh, sorry, to teach you the commands. Whereas this guy is just like, you have a whole phase where you have to, like, do a crazy jump to keep from being swept into the ocean. You have to knock back things that are weirdly difficult to hit in midair, and then you have to, like, jump across platforms that are constantly collapsing and avoid things that are getting shot at you and still manage to hit him in the face over and over. Like, this is unusual. I mean, again, this isn't... None of the elements of this boss fight are things I haven't seen before. I want to make that clear. But at the same time... To see them all right here at the start of a game, literally in the tutorial, it's a little strange. Keep that combo going! I mean, it doesn't mean anything. Combo just gives you a cash bonus when you uh, uh, kill things, and I doubt I'll be able to keep the combo going for his entire life this fight. What are you looking for, lady? You look like you're trying to say something. Yeah, now would be a not a good time to cross in front of me. Alright. Oh, okay. Is he being very strange? I can't really look away from the thing at the moment. No. Okay. He's being all nonsensey. Probably what's happening. Does Peppa Pig have fans? Oh my god! Yeah, I was not expecting the first boss in the game, A, to be this tough, B, to, oh my god, every time, turn into a hideous beast when you did enough damage. Oh, good. What is happening here? No, this is insane. This is, like, the start of the game? This is the tutorial. It's a boss fight. And it's not just any boss fight, it's a really difficult boss fight. Oh my god, three, two, one. Oh, it's over. Yes, I'll hop back on the boat. Oh my god. I'm talking about 
Oh, yeah, puppet ball. Oh, uh, God. No more weird pig stuff. The end. Stop. Wait, you want me to do more? Oh. Hey, hacker. I was down to one hit point, and we finally beat that thing. Did, uh, now, are you saying, did it just take Hogaru 15 minutes to beat a tutorial? I would say yes, because I was not expecting that boss to be that tough. World 1 in the shop. Well, I only have $47 to spend, so let's see what we can do with these space bucks here in the shop. Increase your max money speed by one. Uh, four, that's eight tokens. Four seashells or silo camps. <laughs> Add ice element. 1500 I know, it's clear. <laughs> Attack boost. When you say a short time, how much time do you mean? Okay, apparently we're getting a lot of coins in this game at some point. Alright. Let's try World 1 and see if it's a little easier on me. Somehow I doubt it will be. Oh my god. And there's... Wait, 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 wait. So there's four stages and then a boss and then a B for bonus stage. So presumably I have to find all the secreted Ooh. things in the various stages to get the bonus. So I can play as Guts, and she's a, an elf with sword powers. Sword and there's a, let's face it, a Romani lady with dual swords. And I cannot justify playing as anyone but the dragon. So we're playing as the dragon, because I'm not an idiot. Welcome to the jungle. Ugh. All right, fine. Wish me luck, everybody. Maybe I'll charge up my super meter this time. Oh my god, your run is so cute! This is called Muscle Archipelago. Okay. All right. Wow, this thing is weirdly bloody. Now that is the cash I'm talking about, baby. So how high do you think I have to get the combo before I start getting, uh... Turning enemy projectiles always hurts them? Yeah. Ow! Nice! You can only shoot them straight forward, I guess? Oh, sorry! I 100% did not intend to hurt that cat. I honestly didn't think I could hurt four ground kittens. That one's on me, everybody. I'll be very careful not to hurt kittens in the future. You just give me another chance. What the hell? Was I dizzy or was I on fire? This game's communication leaves a little to be to a little needs leaves a little to be desired. Not a lot to be desired, just a little. Seriously though, sorry about the kitten situation. Cannot stress that highly enough. Alright. Whoa! Am I underwater? I think I might be underwater. And I certainly can't hurt this fish. Oh no, there he goes. That was weird. So does my dragon character have any special abilities? Like, do I have a double jump, or can I glide, or... Am I just a dragon because of how it looks? Wait, I can throw monsters into the air? That's cool. Yes, yes, I know I'm very bad at the game. You didn't need to tell me. Thank you, though. Okay, I miss. There's nothing back there. Hey, Ghost Gaming Return. Thanks for dropping by, Ghost. We're always happy to see you, Adjacent. What are those things? I was trying to answer Marissa earlier, and I couldn't give up because you kept talking to Why would I not? We're literally here to play the game. That is true. Alright. Now I feel like it's too late to respond. That's true. I don't even know what question you're talking about. I was, oh no, she was talking about wearing matching mask. Oh and yeah, that's always important. I was like going to say how important that is. I. When I was still serving the hey, public, it ran out my, uh, my wardrobe, wardrobe around that. on, on masks. Today, uh, Hoguru and I here wore matching masks. It's true. Matching masks are always a good idea. Uh, so, the treasure here and villains. So I can carefully 
hit them without getting hit myself. And God, these guys have a lot of health, don't they? So we've got a 50 hit combo. A combo high enough that it asked me to stop doing the combo, which is kind of unusual. Uh, and even with that 50 hit combo, we still haven't gotten to a anything more than 110% uh, bonus point. So. Uh, no! I felt so good, too. I almost kept the combo going by hitting that tube, but then it didn't work out. Oh, this is not your jam either? Oh yeah, you can juggle enemies. That's nice. I don't know that I need to at the moment. Right, can I hit that? Hmm. It's weird that I have both an attack slide and a dash. That's weird, right? Like, my special attack dives forward with my sword. Axe. And my dash dives forward with my axe. Like, it's the same attack. It's very weird. But I can only do one of them in the air. Uh-oh, kittens! I gotta back off keep from hurting the kittens while I'm killing Don't hurt the kittens! What did I just say I was doing? Good! Because, I mean, you and I would have some work. That's not actually true, but I will avoid hearing the kids. Oh, weird! Okay, that was a pretty badass move game. You got me. Oh, what's this switch? Super jump attack. Yes, no, I know. Oh, this is so weird. Yes, I think, I think it's safe to say that this game has set a record for the number of times I lost during the tutorial. I don't think that's ever happened any time before, which... Way to go! Uh, I mean, this isn't a... Uh, that guy playing... Uh, Cuphead. I was actually playing the game. It wasn't any good at it. Woo! Yay! I got two secret coins. What's this guy's deal? Oh, by collecting the thing, I set off an alarm that called in monsters to attack. Hey, I finally got a high combo again. And when it hits 56 consistently, it begs you to stop doing the combo. Which, I guess the game is getting tired of counting the combo? That was supposed to be fun. Yes! No! I screwed up badly! I'm almost out of health! You know, I've noticed there's like no way to get your health back in this game. Unless there is and I just haven't found it yet. But there seems to be... Oh no, there's literally food right there, as I was saying. But in my defense, that's the first thing I've seen. Boom! This is science-tacular. No kittens! Come here and get me. I'm not coming over there to fight you, because that would result in kittens getting hurt, which I refuse to let happen. I hope this isn't like a timer where I have to kill this guy before the timer runs out. Because again, that would put Kitten in danger. There's a slight chance I injured a kitten. In my defense, I don't have any kittens. What the hell is going on with this guy? This little body splits open and spews tentacles everywhere. Again, I flailed angrily in fear of this dude, and I think I heard a kick. Look at this nonsense. Okay, that time I tried to dive away from him, but it dove towards him. Well, yeah, that's not great. Oh, the, the weird skull alarm scarecrow was the checkpoint. Okay. The game did not really communicate that at all, but more power to it. I'm just glad there are checkpoints. 
Seriously, how high would my combo have to go to get... I think I lost all of the money I made. By getting killed, I had like 700 coins. And we lost all of them. So, yeah. This game is harder than we are used to. And I'll just say that. It looks like the kind of game I would normally enjoy. Yes. But it's way too hard for me. Yeah, it's crazy challenging. I could have stopped playing the demo. Oh, the, the training. training? No, there's no questions here. Hey, guys. Seriously, how are we supposed to get those coins? Oh, you little monsters! <laughs> what is That's happening? That's an awesome idea, Marissa. Marissa says every game should have the hardest mode be the exact same As game, but cats are randomly spawned in areas with mobs, and you can't hurt the cats and you die. Okay. Great advice, Marissa. Just don't use mob to describe enemy. Mob is a plural thing. Uh, and enemy can be one. Uh, it was started because a man who didn't speak English made the game Minecraft. And unfortunately has caught on. And it is one of the rare misuses of the English language that I don't approve of. I, I was thinking you were being super picky, and I disapprove of a lot of them, so... Why can't I jump over this guy? Yeah. I think you can too. Uh, it's oh. funny, Marissa, you say that about cats. I was just talking to Hobu here, and I was like, so, Whew. this little pandemic thing is all over. And people can finally have, you know, other people from outside their house over to their house. Are all the cats in the world going to revolt and be like, nope, nope. There are not other people allowed in Oh, he had another move. What the hell are you doing? Ah, it's not a big deal, Marissa. It's only a pet peeve of mine that no one but me has to respect. <laughs> and there's no need to follow my insane linguistic commands, believe you me. So I'm con convinced the next, like, global uh, emergency, like a pandemic, is going to be uh, just uh, cats taking over the world. I've heard crazier ideas. Ah! I thought maybe... Oh, no, I woke them up. I thought if I went underground, I might find, like, a, a secret area. But, uh, found deadly fish. Deadly fish. But also a conch shell. I know. Those are weird spittoon plants. Because they might also be insects. Does it only show my health when I'm getting damaged? So when you get to like 10 health, or sorry, 10 combo, it increases your thing to 110. And then I've gotten up to 60, and it never increased it a second time. Ah! God damn it. Come and get me, weirdo. Oh, God, Marissa, that's horrible. Oh. I'm sure your cat doesn't hate you. Cats are just fickle. And if he lets you kiss his forehead, fickle. then he doesn't entirely. My, uh, my family, my grandmother used to have a cat, but I spent almost as much time as anybody, uh, that literally hated people. He, they actually, when the twins were young, and the twins were not doing the normal thing that they All right, later let's do this. to do, like pulling cat's tails and like, buttons, like just delicately crawled up to the cat, and the cat was like, nope, scratching a hole in your hand. The cat was horribly mean, except to me. Come on, you Ooh, little monster. It's okay. Uh, I want to say Taylor. What? You're not late. We don't mind this. Now he just starts with that move? I'm really not liking this guy. Like, at all. Am, oh, finally. I am known in some circles as the cat whisperer. We finally got a... Oh, because we did it in the next amount of time, we got a super chest. It's kind of a jerk move in the game's part, putting me in a posi uh, position where I can't kill guys without hurting adorable ki uh, kittens. Yes, there's an entire Kids in the Hall sketch about that, Ghost. Hey, Kyler. Woo! Yes, there is. I it's one of the great sketches of all time. The world state is now green! 
mean? I don't know what that means. So yes, I w I've noticed the cat whisperer because all cats. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. You got all of the items, 445 coins, finished in six minutes, and played in uh, and got a combo of up to 32. That means your total score is 48. Why is that my total score? <laughs> where did that 48 come from? You need to tell me. Is this going to be one of those things where it's random? Or do you remember that game that at the end of each like massive level, I got to spin for stuff? Oh, God, And yes. then I realized the spins always came out exactly the no same. No matter what you did, yeah. No matter what I did, so there was no point. That was frustrating. No, you don't. Because uh, G upside down is not still G. You get bomb. You get. Uh, what do you call it? Bomb. Wait. Okay, flip dog upside down. You would get paw. Paw and then a B, but the B is worked. You get palm. Why does it just wrap the cutest thing ever? Okay. Okay, that's amazing. That's amazing. Use inven I have inventory items? I do not have inventory items. Yeah. But when I get them, I can use them by pressing them. Yeah. I think the game thought I would end that first level with a lot more money than I ended that first level with. Yay! I got firepower! Dogs and cats are the best friends are my favorite. Yeah, dogs and cats are their best friends are amazing. Uh, one of my favorite dogs growing up was raised by cats and mistook himself for a cat. He was adored. Alright, I think these guys are going to respawn indefinitely, so I'm going to just keep going. Uh, hold wine release to eject monsters and objects in the direction you want. Wait, what? That, nothing happened. Well, that was awesome, but it didn't work with the guy. Nice. So, wait, charge up and... Nope, oh, nothing happened. Oh, so yeah, look, I'm deciding which way I want to hit them. Nice. Whoa, bounce pad! <laughs> I like that I'm playing as a dragon. He's super cute. I'm surprised he doesn't seem to have any special abilities as compared to the other guys. Like, maybe he... Like, because he seems to hit just as fast, so I'm sure he's not doing bonus damage. Thought maybe he could slide into that gap. But I was wrong. Yeah, I've been wrong before. Hey, the people, uh, uh, the person who developed Firework just dropped by the video to say thanks for playing Firework. And I'm like, no, thank you. Firework's awesome. By the way, if you need uh, the best non-Mega Man Mega Man game around, you want Firework for the Nintendo Switch. It's like spelled like the word Firework, but it's all in capitals for reasons that I don't really understand. Oh, that is a tiny dog you have. Like, tiny. And I know you've talked about the tininess of your dog before, but hearing about a dog only weighing three pounds is just crazy to me. Hi. My dog weighs less than the weights you put on your uh, ankles before you go walking around. That's weird. No! Oh, that was that was embarrassing. That was a bad look. Oh. Okay, that zombie. Yep, they're just walking into the spikes. Okay. Okay, so they will just respawn indefinitely and with like no lag time. Okay, so the second one dies, the new one pops up. I assume that light means I'm supposed to hit it back or something. Wrong button. Can't seem to hit it. Why was I supposed to? Okay, that was bad. Hey, remember that level in Super Mario World uh, where that was the first time you saw rotating pedestals like that? And there were like Tyrannosauruses on them that shot fire? I think I'm supposed to ride that. No? Okay. I naively thought I was supposed to ride that on I that guy's shell, too. Okay, good. It's not crazy. 
Later, ghost. That is very cute. Ah. What are you looking for? Yeah, none of these emojis. Comments are showing up. Oh, you're not seeing any of the comments. Oh, yeah, yeah, good. Like but yes, that dog cute. sounds desperately cute. Not gonna lie. Tiny, go. tiny I dog. I mean, that's pretty awesome. It doesn't really work on other dudes, does it? Yeah, like when I hit, it says how what direction to eject monsters in, but then I hit monsters with a charged up attack and they just explode. Watch. Okay, he didn't go flying into his body the way I was promised he would. That's weird. Yeah. A lot about this game is weird, actually. And not just the difficulty. Obviously, I mean, you know more accurate things about the game as well. Okay, so we jump back down. That was a mistake. No! Kind of love the enemies that clumsily stumble into traps, though. Not gonna lie, that's something that more characters in games should do, and I love seeing it. Thank you for dying. You didn't stay dead long, but I still appreciate it. So here's the guy who keeps shooting out beams that it tells me I'm supposed to do something with, but then when I try to hit them, nothing happens. And now here's the part that I don't... Am I just supposed to do the dive across? Wait, look. No, it didn't work. thought he was doing something different. I was just supposed to do the dive across. Kittens! Whew, I managed to not hit the kittens. What's that? You don't actually... You can't hurt the kittens. Yes, you can. That's why it's so hard to do the fight scenes. Why would you Call for to? help when the gold gauge is at 100%. I will never accomplish getting the gold gauge to 100%. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw where your gold gauge was. It's at 11%. Like, it's slightly, like, um, lascivious. I don't know what you mean. How could that be lascivious? You have very weird ideas about everything, woman. Please die, please die. At least I know how to fight this guy. Although he's only doing the, the slam move over and over. He's given up the tentacle move. Very weird. Thank you for dying. Now here's the bigger question. How do I get that? I cannot jump high enough to get that. You can't bounce off of enemies. What was I supposed to do to get that? Thing? Okay, good note. Oh yeah, I might be able to get above it and go back to the water. That is my only possible theory. I don't know what's happening. That? That's the thing that fires shots at me and it's just basically a jerk. Oh, he can't be hurt either. See, that's where I thought I was going to have to jump left, but then there was a fireball thrown dude there that you under no circumstances can hurt, so... Maybe I'm supposed to hit these skulls at him. Alright, so... Do you think that worked? It definitely didn't, everybody. <laughs> oh my... Yeah, but I thought that might be an invisible wall. Uh, yeah, sorry, an illusory wall. Invisible walls historically in this game so far? No, but I've played other video games before this. Other video games don't start with a boss fight in the training mode. Yeah, tutorial boss fight where the boss fight is as hard as most games' final boss fight? That was a weird choice. Hey, I got the conch shell! Okay, that was a death pit. The rest of them were not tell. death pits. Yeah, the game's not this great and I can't do that thing where you push down and it shows me Which slower. Which game is this again you're being asked? Oh, this is Golden Force. Golden Force? An unbelievably oh. challenging. Force was in, uh, it was. Hey. Also, and I can't stress this enough, dear game, you need to find me more health. I need more opportunities to get health. Comprende? So you're like a I Love Lucy dragon? Why would you say I Love Lucy? Because the dragon looks like he's wearing a dress. And That's armor. That's armor skirting. 
to you, yes, it does. Okay, then. What am I supposed to do from here? Because that's a bit... Oh, I see. Whoa. I hear we go. Oh my god, that was too close. And there's a ton of monsters. Because why wouldn't there be? And my fire does not seem to be hurting them as much as I want it to. See? David agrees with me. Thank you, David. Said so you're playing some kind of princess dragon with an, an axe in the game. And she can't fly. Oh god, if only this had, if only I could use the I cheating program on this game, Marissa. Game should have infinite health. Oh, that would be nice. What? what? It's like platformers like this. Yeah, that would be a nice option to let me right? have. Can you imagine what's this, like, loading up of, like, Mario's game having infinite health? Oh my god, that would be incredible. Okay, I actually need to get a button. What? He's got three attacks. Luckily, he's not doing anything at the moment, so I'm fine. Yikes. Seriously, how do I get that thing? Maybe there's a passage up behind? Yeah, training modes for games where you have infinite health or infinite lives or whatever are pretty much always a good choice. Very few games have them. I can see that, Tom. It has that kind of art style. That's right, Slugnor. You just learned a valuable lesson about messing with me. A guy with an axe. Uh, sorry, a princess dragon with an axe. Wait, was there a second chest inside that first chest? Who am I hitting now? Ah, that's one of those things where there's a goblin who uh, runs around with a bunch of money dropping. You have to hit him until you get all the gold. That first started in what game? I'm not going to be uh, doing a quiz. Everybody knows what game that started in. It was Golden Axe. I did not. Oh, you didn't know that? No. Well, it is Golden Axe. It's not your type of game. Yeah, Terraria's solid. Uh, you can check the channel. We've played a bunch of Terraria here. I played through killing the, uh, what's the guy in hell called? The Wall of Flesh? Ew. I know, right? Uh, Wall of Flesh, and then we opened up the second area, and I got myself some nice power tools. The problem that I get with Terraria, which happens to be with all Terraria and Minecraft-style games, is I'm not really interested in building houses. I have no passion for architecture, so at a certain point, the, uh, game runs out of things to offer me. Because the creativity aspect, it's like, I'll go write a screenplay if I feel like being creative. Thanks. Uh, Damn it! Sorry, everybody. Didn't mean to yell about it. Oh. Well, I mean, we're probably going to play some Ghost of Tsushima, but Yay, if you have another request, be sure to give it to me. But yeah, those foxy foxes are real cute in Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, you can only fire those straight to the side. What? Oh, I was supposed to fall and get it and then hyper jump back up. See? Like, that makes up that didn't work either. Um... What's wrong? This game is very difficult. Again, I wouldn't have... That's reasonable, that. Marissa. I don't know what you mean by Source Rex there. I feel like that might be a typographical or maybe even translation error. I think that might be a typo. Wow, I hate this guy so much. Wow, that was close. Is it weird that I really feel like my health should be shown? Like, even when I haven't been hit, like, I should be able to tell how much health I have left. You're actually at 20% gold. I know. It resets every time I die. No, I was just going to say... You Earth Defense Force Insect Armageddon? Well, actually, I could try to see if that'll load. That's a really good idea, uh, David. I don't know if I have it installed, though. I'll check after we finish this. Ooh, I wonder if the cheat code program has cheat codes for its defense force. Insect Armageddon. 
That would be delightful. The Insect Armageddon's big issue was it didn't have the kind of levels that people expect from a uh, Earth Defense Force game. Like, it's basically just six levels long, and all of the levels take forever to play. And that is not what people come to Earth Defense Force for. So when the Earth Defense Force Insect Armageddon guys made a second game, instead of trying to go too hard for the American market like they did with Earth Defense Force Insect Armageddon, that was the whole point of Insect Armageddon, was make an EDF game that Westerners, Americans, will like. It was the whole point of the game. Uh, they said, yeah, we may have overcorrected a little. So when they made... Uh... Careful? Damn it. Uh, when they made My Beloved Iron Rain, they were very careful to make sure that uh, they w they'd had a lot of short levels instead of a couple of super long ones. Hey, Joanne! Thanks for dropping by. We always appreciate it. It dies in a special secret language only you and seven other people know. Yes. French. Strangely, there are only seven people that live in the province of Quebec. Well, no. Four in Quebec and three in France. Oh, okay. I always about France, woman. Come on! Oh, why did that take me five tries? Oh my god, I'm down to one hit point. I don't want to have to do this again, game. Oh my god, this better be the end of the level. There is a great big line between how cute this game is and how difficult it is that I was not expecting. Oh, thank god it's over. Oh, thank god that's over, everybody. We did it! My total score this time was 40. So we did not get the next world state. A means go and X means fruit. What does that mean? What just happened? Alright, can I get anything with my five tokens or no? Do I need like more tokens? I need eight. Oh. Wait, is that the only thing you can buy with... No, no. You can buy it over and over again, I'm sure, to get more maximum hit points. So... Anyway, this has been Golden Force. A kind of, like, very cute, but shockingly difficult video game. Like, so difficult I didn't really expect it. Because, again, and this is something that's never happened before, we spent... We spent 15 minutes playing the tutorial and just dying over and over again, so... We do love General Salsa, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, fighting that General Salsa over and over again. We loved him right up until he revealed that underneath his squishy exterior was a horrible Lovecraft monster. Really, it felt like the end of the video game Splatterhouse, which is a weird feeling to get out of this ultra-cute game. Uh, but for now, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comments section below the video. I'll see you back here for more new and upcoming games, but until then, au revoir.